Hello and welcome to another Crit Spell video. I'm Zelp and today we are going to talk about my secret hammer combo. So uh, I've been playing the Fist and also the Dual Souls a lot lately. Up to yesterday, I'm still playing with the Dual Souls and I've been dying a lot in PvP. So just today, um, I switched back to my hammer and also the staff and I found some very interesting combos that helped me to get all the way to rank A. And I feel like sharing this because um, it's something so easy to pull off, but at the same time, it does take a lot of awareness. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you how that combo actually works. Just need to get into the portal. Now, uh, I do want to point out that this combo, although easy, there are some specific stats that you require. For example, uh, one of the main thing that makes this possible is casting speed. You need to have at least two accessories. Actually, I don't, or I can't show you right now, but you need to have at least two accessories on casting speed. And then you want to make sure that you have maxed out INT. I'm not too sure if uh, Wisdom provides uh, casting speed, uh, but yeah, maxed out INT and wisdom, and I think that would be enough. I personally, because of uh, lag, ping issues, I had four casting speed uh, accessories just to make sure that I can catch it. So the thing to catch, and this is very, very tricky, is that hammers, although they are slower, they seem to be the only class I believe Fist can do this too, but it's really hard to hit the target. Um, but yeah, Hammer has is the only class that can do a jump attack and being able to continue really well. So what I mean is a jump attack is this thing, right? So when it hits the target, the target actually bounces up from the ground and it bumps up high enough that you can actually continue the combo without allowing him the chance to escape. So that is where my secret combo kind of shines. Um, I also need to kind of like tell you about the, the skills that I picked. Uh, in previous videos, you saw that I, I talked highly about the Holy Cross. And the Holy Cross is a really, really good skill. It can break pretty much anything. The only problem with it in PvP is that it's very hard to use it to continue with your combo or to link or, or even to use it as a damage skill is not really that good. Um, so in my opinion, Gigantic Swing might actually be something that's better. If I have to remove something from this list, it's going to be Gigantic Swing for the Holy Cross or Crusade for the Holy Cross. But other than that, I don't think I'm gonna change it. Now, some people believe that the heal can be really good, but I feel like in PvP, everything is running in such a fast pace. Uh, it's really hard to pull off a heal uh, and to stick at that one spot because if people know that you're gonna be on that one spot, they can do a lot of things to you. Um, so moving around is really important. So yeah, so the thing that you need here is uh, these skills because these skills, each one can stun. If you were to use Crusade, Okay, so if he managed to hit the wall behind, he's gonna get stunned. Um, you have your gigantic swing, which also stuns the enemy. And finally, you have your hammer smash, which also stuns the enemy. Now, whenever the enemy is stunned, all you have to do is do a launch, right? So it's WW, left mouse button. And then you can chase, which is a uh, space bar. And then after that, you can start doing your jump attack. So I'm gonna show you one cycle of what I'm trying to say here. Uh, you can start with any one of the three skills, but unless there's a wall nearby, uh, it's easiest to start with Hammer Smash. Okay, he's stunned. You do a launch, you do the air attack, come down, there. Do you see? Do you see that? So after you hit the ground, you can actually hit him while he's still pretty high up um, and that will not allow him to escape. Without casting speed on, without the accessories, 
I find that I cannot pull this off. He will always land first before you can actually swing your hammer to hit him. Um, so that is why casting speed is really important in this particular combo. So let me show you a more complete version. Oopsie, I messed up there. So um, when the enemy is stunned, you do not want to hit him in any other form. Um, if your friend know they're going to do a combo, he should not hit him as well because the moment he get hit, he's free to move. Unless that hit is going to help link to another combo, then by all means. But otherwise... Okay, double tap, launching up. Alright. One, two, and then do a spin. Now you want to align yourself near to a wall so that you can do this. And it's stun again. Do another launch. And then you can do this again, right? You realize that your hammer smash is ready, so you stun him again. And you can do another launch. Do another one of this, and end it with a gigantic swing. Now this full combo is so strong that most squishy uh, players will definitely die from this combo, like guaranteed. Um, the reason why is because it's more and more of a meta right now in the PvP situation from what I can see is that a lot of people are playing, first of all a lot of people are playing bows so they're going like learning how to dodge and just keep spamming their shots which is super annoying and a really good player with really high action speed can actually almost permanent lock you in one spot and there's almost nothing you can do to reach him um, especially depending on your weapon type, I guess, because some weapons, like let's say you have the great sword, you might still be able to charge through. Um, but yeah, it's really hard for certain weapon types to deal with a bow. And when people are playing with bows a lot, uh, which is, well, again, the current meta, or if people are playing a lot of dual souls, um, they tend to like to do large damages. So they are built is usually focused on damage and really low health, maybe even no health at all. So their stats is going to be uh, like that, you know, HP, the lowest, and then everything else as high as possible kind of thing. Um, they might have one point on HP because they don't need INT in certain situations. So that is their build. Uh, when you meet with someone like that, this combo is going to be able to kill him easily. However, I want to point out that uh, it may sound like it's really overpowered, but it's actually not. I feel like this actually promotes people to be more of a hybrid instead of all going with the same stats and getting as much damage as possible with all your accessories as well. Um, also, I feel like although this combo is deadly, it takes a really long time to pull off. Throughout this whole entire duration, you can be interrupted pretty easily because hammers, they do not have a lot of endurance. Um, their skills also do not have a lot of endurance. There is another hammer combo um, that I'm working on, but it's currently still under testing. It's where you don't even need um, casting speed. So the combo is a little bit different. I also find that kind of usable, but I haven't really test it out enough to see if the enemy could escape that combo and stuff like that. Um, now this is a huge deal because if that combo works, that means you can have your accessories change and maybe give you a little bit more movement speed, maybe a little bit of your stats can change because movement speed is so important, especially against the current meta. Okay, with that said, let's roll the montage thingy.
I want to apologize because I could not get a continuous combo clip to show you guys but practicing that combo that I've shown actually helped me become better at handling the hammer so hopefully it's going to help you as well uh, in case you would have realized that I actually gained rank trying to get that clip but I couldn't seem to get it because at A rank and above a lot of the teammates are very smart they help each other out a lot so to try and do a long stretch of combo is just really hard in the actual game but anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow